Hello. It's good to see you. Today we're going to take a look at three glass containers that are full of jewelry and apparently other stuff as well. We'll see what we have in here. I found all three of these at the same place. And you'll notice, like on this one right here, there's some stuff on the outside. And they're all closed up with tape that we're going to have to remove. So let's do that first. I think the first thing we should do is take the tape off. So here we have this rectangular glass container with all kinds of interesting things in here. And then there's this tape. How much was this one? Let's see. This container and everything in it was $5.99. So it's got that one. It's some really, really strong tape. Now this is just a little, like a little mason jar. Um, it says something there. It's kind of hard to read. It's not mason, but it's like a little canning jar. This one, this jar and all the stuff in it was $3.99. I've tried not to look at them too closely. I want us to find out together what's in here. jar, but it doesn't have any brand name or anything on it.
begin with this tape. But this one has something stuck to it as well. takes all the tape off. Let's start with this one. Now this one has a lid, but it's not really doing anything. It's missing the part that goes over the top. Okay, now just like the vases that we do, I'm going to turn it this way. Very carefully. First thing we have is a little flip-flop pendant. It's cute. Looks like it's brand new. It's just a little silver flip-flop. It has little tiny rhinestones on it. Look, it's a little umbrella for your drink. These were really cool. I liked to play with things like this when I was little. <laughs> Cute little things. Oh, here's the one. This one's multicolored, mainly yellow. really cool. It has the little tiny rubber band that you can push up and it helps hold it open a little bit better. in one of these before. And let's see what we have here. Multiple things. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this beautiful watch. Wow, that's cool. It has a nice stretchy band. Oh, it doesn't have a name. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it says Inspire up here. I don't know who made that, but that's pretty. That's a beautiful watch. That's that's really pretty. It's a very unique band on there. I think it needs a battery. But it has one of those backs that I think would be easy to pop off. I might keep that and see if um if all it needs is a battery, if I can replace it, I might keep that. And then we also have this watch that looks like one my grandma used to wear. This almost looks like it would be a wind-up watch, but it's not. It doesn't have a name on it, it just says quartz. It looks like a Timex, a stretchy band. I didn't like these when I was a kid because this, this stretchy stuff catches on the little hairs 
on your arm and it pulls and it hurts. I never, I never really like those. Oh, a necklace. Here's one. Now this is pretty. This is um, this simple bead. Little plastic beads. These are navy blue. And we have just a little circular clasp in a gold tone color. Pretty sure it's not real gold. That's a pretty necklace. Um, I have several necklaces like this, although mine are on elastic and they don't have a clasp. You just pull them, you just stretch them and pull them over your head. But I don't have a navy blue one. I think I'm, I want to keep that. So that way I'll have a navy blue. <clears throat> and I thought this was a pendant on here. It's actually not. Um, it's a little tree. A little plastic pin. A cute little tree. So we have a pin and a pendant. Two watches. And a really pretty navy blue plastic beaded necklace, and there's more. Now here we have a simple cord. Feels like feels like velvet. It's black, just a little cord with about three inches of adjustable chain and a small little silver lobster claw clasp. That would be cool. You could put the little flip-flop pendant. Here's a bunch of stuff. This is all probably going to come out together. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I have to untangle all this. Okay, looks like we have a pair of earrings here. Little red pierced earrings with no backs. <laughs> sort of like a red enam enamel with gold. Pretty. Right there. You know, I have a bracelet just like this, but it's um it's blue. These are plastic little multifaceted beads in different shades of pink and burgundy. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty. I do like the combination of colors in there. Right there. I'd say so far we got a pretty good deal. Oh, here's a pretty earring. A little pendant with a silver heart. I'm sorry, a gold heart and a little tiny pink stone in there. And this one doesn't have a back either. And here we have a little butterfly with little pink rhinestones on the wings. It looks like it was attached to something at one point and it came off. What in the world? I'm not sure. Oh, it's a pendant, I think. Let's look at this. Oh, a clip-on earring, look. This is pretty. Two silver pieces. This one is encrusted with tiny rhinestones to make it sparkly. It's a little clip on. It's cute. And oh, this is a cool bracelet. This part here is missing, but these are interesting beads. These are these feel like um plastic. But this is this is metal. It's held together by this metal. It's a kinda needs new new elastic. It's Lost some of its stretch. But that's a nice combination with the green here and then this sort of an amber color. That is pretty. I might keep that and restring it and just take this part out, this piece here. I think this is a necklace. It's like a long, weird necklace. Oh no, wait a minute. Oh, it's some... 
It's come apart. That's what it is. It's a detached here. Or here. Right here. Yeah. It has these little twisty pieces. That's kind of cool. And then you have gold beads. Um, here's the clasp. There is a clasp. There's kind of a small gold colored lobster claw clasp that attaches to this ring right here. Hmm. That's long. But yeah, it needs a little repair. Here's a... I don't know if this is a bracelet. Oops. A bracelet or an anklet. It's kind of big. Oh, it has pictures of cats and dogs on it. Each little bead is made of wood. Oh, that looks like pumpkin. <laughs> this looks like my, my cat pumpkin. Sort of. She tried really hard to be Siamese. Oh, that looks like my buddy. Y'all never met Buddy. He was my cat. He died in 2011. He looked a lot like that. He was, um, like, I don't know that he was a full-blooded Maine Coon, but he was very big and had really long hair. And he looked just like that. That's kind of crazy. So it's like I have Pumpkin and Buddy on here. I don't see Evie. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so this is, these are wooden. All of these are wooden. I'd like to keep it just for that one, if nothing else. That looks just like my buddy. He was more like a dog than a cat. He really was not very cat-like at all. He was just like a, like a little dog. He was very special. I still miss him. So here we have another pin, a little hat. It almost looks 3D. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. A little, a little pin. And here's the other heart earring. It's always nice when they, you have both of the earrings instead of just one. Here's a pineapple earring. That's cute. Just a lone pineapple. I would convert those to clip-on if I had the other one. Maybe it'll turn up. And another pair of steering with little plastic beads. Multifaceted. You have two clear and one green. And there's some stuff in here. Let me see if I can get... I can't get my hand in there. I'll just pour it out. It looks like we have another pin. It's Santa. Santa's a little jaundiced. Look at him. He's, uh, he needs some, some of that light therapy they do <laughs> for babies that have jaundice. I mean, poor guy. Might want to get his liver checked. And then we have the other earring here. Look at that. Unfortunately, we have not found this earring here. Or the pineapple. Right there. But let's clear this out and then we'll look at the next one. Okay, now we have the second little canning jar here. I just call them all mason jars. It's just from habit. Now on top of this jar we have some bangles. Here we have two of them. You hear this one kind of has a cut, like a diamond cut. Little sparkly look to it. And then this one is not quite as... Not quite as shiny. Still kind of shiny. And then we have two more. This one is um, a little thicker and it has little rhinestones all around. Here's one that's kind of a dull, sort of a antique gold look to it. Ooh, this one's pretty. It's like copper. Those ridges. Those are pretty. I'll put those right there. Okay, and we have another pendant. This one looks like a little kid. This kid has boobs, so look. It says. <laughs> uh, 
And the, her hair looks like the front of a Jeep. Like it's like a Jeep. You s <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a Jeep. Sorry, that's just a weird, weird little pendant. All right, now let's turn this sideways. See what comes out of here. Another pen. I think somebody likes gardening. Because here we have a watering can with a bunny sitting on it. And it looks like he's surrounded by cabbage or something. Like a mutant garden. Who knows? Oh, there's a big watch in there and another umbrella. Let's see what this one looks like. Looks kind of like one of the other ones. I still think these are cool. <laughs> the little rubber band on this one is stubborn. There we go. Push it up a little bit. There. That's nice. Okay, let's see if I can get this out. Now it looks like there's another plastic beaded necklace and a bunch of other stuff. Oh my goodness, look. It's a Christmas watch. It has a, a snowman on it. That's precious. That is so cute. It has a fabric band that's red with little snowflakes on it. What a pretty watch. Look how pretty that is. Oh, That's cute. I think it needs a battery. It's not running. I'm going to guess that all this stuff came from somebody's grandma. <laughs> That's just my guess. Here's an orange umbrella. This looks like the stuff you'd find in my mom's jewelry box. Let's see. Ooh, an orange one. That's cool. A little orange umbrella. It's pretty. The little flowers on it. And another one. This one's blue. Ooh, that one is pretty. It doesn't want to stay up, but that's really pretty. That's nice. Alright, I want to see this necklace. Boy, it's long. And it has stuff wrapped around it. Oh look, it's a red hat. Wait a minute. This is confusing. Okay, I've heard of the Red Hat Society. Apparently, you also have Red Hat Snowman. Like, seize the day. You're not going to be here in July anyway. That's kind of disturbing. I don't know why. It looks like a villain in a, in a comic book or something. It's just a little too fabulous. Look at the little carrot nose. <laughs> it's really heavy. For a scarf, we have a purple cum, a purple pipe cleaner, and it almost looks like she's wearing a retainer. <laughs> a little bit. Oh, and here we have two earrings. These are cute little pendants here. They're brown with silver beads. Those are nice. And then we have this silver, I'm sorry, this white plastic beaded necklace with a little circular clasp, kind of a copper color. Here's a really colorful necklace. Ooh, I do like this one. This is nice. It's made with lots of little tiny discs, all different colors, and it has a barrel clasp that you put together and you twist. There's no adjustable chain with the barrel clasp. It's just going to attach here and you can't really adjust it. This is pretty though. I like this. I don't have a necklace like this. I may have, I may have to keep that one. <laughs> 
Oh, here's a red hat. There's a red hat bracelet in there. Let me see. This is something. Oh, it's just a lone plastic bead. Kind of fabulous in its own way. It's a little sparkly. It's like it has sparkles in there. What's this? Ooh, ooh, a ring. Let me see this ring. It has a flip-flop on it. <laughs> it's huge, though. Look, it fits my thumb. I could put that on my toe. That's cool. Little flip-flop ring. I've never seen a, a flip-flop ring before. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> it's made of plastic. And somebody just took some wire, you see, and they threaded it through there and they wrapped it around. And then they made it to this size. It's cute. And here's our little red hat society pendant on a little bracelet with white and pink beads. I bet one of our grandkids made that in summer camp or something. Some ki You know some kid made that for her. That's sweet. And it ended up in a thrift store. I won't tell if you won't. Here is a little bow pin, and it looked like it had a little pendant, or like there's a ring under here, like you could attach something to it. Um, yeah, that's cool. I know my mother had something similar to this that she got when she was younger, and every year that they attended Bible school, they would get a little pendant that they could attach to it for each year that they completed in Bible school. It, I don't know that it was for that, but it looks like at one point some, you could attach something to it. And then we have another pair of earrings. These are made of seashells, little green shells. Very simple, very basic little simple earrings. I'm guessing this person doesn't like, you know, like long dangly jewelry. Oh, let me get that out. That's, that's weird. All right, now in here, the last things we had. Oh, look, it's a pen. I guess that's Evie. That's, well, that's our Evie. The coloring is not exactly right, but it's close. The Wendela, Wendelin, Wendelin, 1993. Little kitty cat. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, she has a lot of... A lot of pins. And here we have foot jewelry. These are toe rings for six ninety nine. Oh, they're red hat toe rings. I have never seen red hat toe rings. And I guess it just comes with this little piece of elastic that you put over your toe. And here's some. Looks like a palm tree and a palmetto tree or something. That's cool. So just some little toe rings. Interesting. I've never worn toe rings. I don't know how I would like that. So that's the second mason jar. Now let's look at the third container. Okay, now it's time for the third and final container. This is the biggest one. Now we're going to turn it over and make, hopefully it won't be too loud when it turns over. No, it's going to be okay. I spoke too soon. It looks like the container itself was 49 cents, but then we added all these things to it. There are umbrellas in here too. She spread she made sure to spread them out, I guess. Here's a cute pin with this little marijuana clip. I'm kidding, it's a hair clip. That's a cute little dragonfly. It looks like these beads are on a wire and you can bend them. I'm just trying to straighten them a little bit. That's cute. Put that in your hair. And it has little rhinestones. That one's missing. The little rhinestones on the wings. And more bangles. Oops. So these are just, you know, basic little inexpensive metal 
bangle bracelets. This one looks like copper. It has little ridges on it. And more. Ooh, this one. This one's a little. Oh, it has a spring. That's actually. It's actually a metal spring in there, and that's weird. I've seen these with elastic, but never, never a metal spring. That's interesting. And then we have just two more little plain bangles and our umbrellas again. I can get it to open. This one's defective. <laughs> Still cute. See, I'm just pushing it with my thumb like that. That one's cool. I think they're all cool. Now let me see what we have. Another watch. Good lord. This is an A watch from Armatron. Oh my god, this is old. This is like original Swatch watch. If I remember correctly, Armatron came out with kind of like a knockoff Swatch back in the 80s. I am so keeping this. Oh, I think it just needs a battery. You know, it's funny because I was just thinking about Swatches the other day. You know, with the different colored bands and stuff. I'm going to have to see if I can get a battery for this. If that's all it needs. I'll have to take it somewhere. And, um, see if they can check it. See if it needs just a battery. But this is an Armatron watch. That's so funny, because I, I was really just... I had a knockoff swatch that had a band. It had a blue... No, it had a red band and a green band, and this part was yellow. Like this one. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking about this part right here. That's neat. Wow, that's very interesting that that was in there. Now, let's see. Oh, look, somebody went to Disney World. We have a Mickey Mouse Club pin. They went to Disney World or Disneyland. They went to one or the other. And they got a little Mickey Mouse Club hat pin. And here's a, an earring. That's pretty. Actually, that's really pretty. Very nice little small earring with this little pendant. Maybe the other one will show up. Boy, this is an ornery snarl right here. Oh, look, we have a Rapunzel plastic hair clip that doesn't want to open, but that's what it is. It's just plastic. Oh, see? Rapunzel. And a breast cancer awareness plastic pin has the little back on it. Cute. There. And another bangle. Ooh, this one's cool. It's like twisty gold. That's all twisted around. Oh my goodness. How do we get this out? Very carefully, that's how. Ooh, this is a pretty watch. This is a Timex watch. This is some I don't know if it's one of the older ones. I don't think it is. Tom Casell. I don't know what that is. It has a little skinny band. But again, these these bands catch the little hairs on your arm. <laughs> it really hurts because it pulls them out. That looks like that looks like a watch my grandmother had. Stay there. And then there's this. Thing. 
Ooh, a bangle watch. Look at that. This is nice. Let's see. Can't read it. The hands are in the way. This is um Lewis Arden. Lewis. That's what it looks like. Something. Arden. I don't know. It's pretty though. Of course, all of these. If nothing else, they have dead batteries. I mean, that may not be the only problem. I don't know. I'm really curious about this one. And here we have a men's watch from episode. Never heard of that. Still has the plastic on it, on the face. A men's stretchy watch. I've never heard of episode, but that's what it says. Episode. Nice wide band. Okay. Oh, and another watch. This one's nice. Oh, and it's I could wear this, I bet. Can I wear it? I have never found a watch that was too little for me. Let me see. I can't get the clasp. Can't see from here what I'm doing. <laughs> it fits. It fits. Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. That's cool. This is a Pulsar watch. That's that's pretty, actually. That's really nice. I may keep this one too if um if all it needs is a battery. I'll take this one and this one and get them checked. That's a nice watch. I guess this lady just went and bought a new watch every time the batteries died. I don't know. <laughs> like, why do you have so many watches? Okay. Let's see here. More bangles. Ooh, here's a festive one. That's a pretty pink one. Lots of sparkles for that little skinny bangle. Oh, this necklace looks precarious. Wow, look at that. That's pretty. Very nice. Now back here, we just have a clasp, kind of like on the watch. There's no adjustment. You just slide it through there and snap it. You have a very cool, classy little gold necklace with this cream-colored piece. And let's see. Another umbrella. <laughs> These umbrellas are killing me. Why does she have so many of these things? I'm gonna guess that she had a Red Hat Society party at her house and it had a luau theme. And she bought these for the party. She found them at Party City. And then she forgot to put them out for the party. And she ended up finding them later after the party and got mad at herself for forgetting to put them out as decorations for the party. That's my guess. That's why she has all of them. And she held on to them for a long time thinking she would use them for something and then just never did. There's no good way to do this. Ooh, this is a cool little necklace. This is a an interesting little thing here. It's metal and it's a little flexible, but not much. And it has all these little interesting little beads and pendants on there. Lots of little metal rings. That's um that's pretty unique. But it's not stretchy down here. It's like it's bent. 
Now back here we have quite a bit of adjustment, a good two and a half inches, and a very, very tiny lobster claw clasp. Very tiny. I'm going to try to read this here. Leah Sophia. I think that's what it says. Look at that little bitty lobster claw clasp. It is tiny. Little tiny. That's an interesting necklace. another bracelet. This one is made of seashells that have been dyed pink. It's pretty. Very pretty. It's like a Barbie pink. And more bangles. Boy, this, she really liked bangles. We saw one like this earlier, with the little knobs on it. It's kind of a Here's the other earring. So now we have both of these earrings. These are cute. I see another watch, but let's get this. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a um, scarf clip. This little piece here for holding your scarf in a knot or whatever. It's very nice, pretty gold metal leaf. Very shiny. Almost looks like an elephant ear leaf. That's cool. And another umbrella. I guarantee you she bought these for some specific reason. And then for some reason she didn't get to use them. Kind of making me sad. I don't want to think about that. Oh, there's uh, another watch. Literally, I think this woman just bought a new watch every time the battery died. I can't read that. It's very tiny. That, now that is a tiny watch. <laughs> I, I can't even get... No, I can't get that one over my hand. Look, look, it's so, look, it's tiny. That had to be for a small child. I refuse to believe this was for a grown woman. I mean, that's like impossibly s small. I mean, I don't have big wrists, but I, I couldn't, I can't even get it. Well, no, I can. Never mind. I can get it over my hand, but it's, I mean, it's tight. It's tight on me. I wouldn't want to wear that. It's, um, that's uncomfortable. That's too tight. But the band has more stretch than I thought. Well, it's pretty though. It's very pretty. Interesting pattern on the band. I don't know what brand it is. I can't read it. It's very tiny. It might be Bulova. I can't, I can't quite read that one. That is a little bitty. I mean, if you compare, well, this one's not very big either, but this one I'm going to keep. But if you, I mean, compare the size of this watch to this one, that's a lot smaller. Okay, here's an earring, a very simple little pearl. That's a plastic pearl. And we have a bamboo bangle. That's interesting. So you just take a piece of bamboo, stretch it around, bend it, attach it with glue, and then put some, some finish on it of some sort. Very interesting. So why would she wear these great big bangles if her wrist was that big around? Maybe she wore them as anklets or a belt. I have no idea. Um, let's see. What do we have here? We have two things. First is this necklace. Um, these pieces are plastic. They're very lightweight, 
And then you have this gold color at the top, the cute little lime green triangles. And then a lightweight gold chain. And this one is special. It actually has two lobster claw clasps attached to one another. It says two lobster claw clasps. I think someone modified this somehow. I don't think it came this way originally. But instead of an adjustable chain, you just have two lobster claw clasps holding on to one another for dear life. And then we have a little pin. A little golf pin. That's cute. Shiny gold with little pendants here. I don't know if that's supposed to be a sand trap or what. And a heart. That's weird. Or a moldy pizza. Could be a moldy cheese pizza. So a golf pin. And here's the other pearl earring in here. So put those together. Right there. And finally we have a babushka matchbook nail file from K Kikerland. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Uh, USA and Canada. Kikerland is on. And they also have an office in the Netherlands, according to this. Oh, and they're cute little nail files. They look like little babushkas. See? On the top. There. And they're just cute little nail files. And you can see how thick they are. So you can take these out one at a time. And use them. So that's really cool. Well, I would say we got some really nice stuff. And lots of cool umbrellas as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. I sure did. And hopefully I'm going to be able to get these watches. No, no, not that one. These two watches to work. If all they need is a battery, that'd be cool. And I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again really soon.